Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Yes, we are fully in the election nine period. But a lot of people were worried when Bibi Nigeria started. They said, look, this whole issue of Bibi Nigeria, Nigerians know what Bibi Nigeria is uh, to uh, Bibi Nigeria is to na youthful Nigerians. And even Dati at some point, uh, Yusuf Dati had to warn uh, uh, support, uh, obedient supporters to be wary of Bibi Nigeria not to get distracted. It looks like even in Bibi Nigeria campaign, they go on right now in fact one of the uh, uh, members participant i was made to understand is actually the head of the house actually is becoming obedient and useful he didn't stop there he was actually campaigning uh, for um Labour Party, Party's, uh, Labour Party uh, presidential aspirant and his vice and this was the exact words he used he, and he crested it on his hood, one of his clothes in the house, and he was busy moving around with the house. And he wrote on the on the clothing, he wrote, "Be obedient and useful." Well, as we, we know it as obedient as O B I, okay. But this time around, he said to put O B E is subtle, so that uh, you will not say he is a uh, uh, campaigning for B. And he now stopped. He didn't use use useful as in why you, but instead he used u s e f u l. Okay, meaning just useful, be obedient and useful. But for some of us who understand the the coded coded word, of course we all know that obedient and useful is obedati movement, which is Labour Party. A lot of people were so super excited, but it looks like that particular move he made has brought him um, a lot of things, both good and bad as um, opposition party are calling for his head. Obedient supporters are already rooting for him, say this one is the winner. We support him, we move, you know, bringing politics into the game. But let's quickly find out exactly what he said and what the opposition party had decided to do to him as well. Kai, politics is a game of strategy. Well, according to one or two persons said, they said um, one of the Big Brother's housemates has attracted attention from Nigerians with his inscription on his clothes, be obedient and useful. The obedient family is rooting for him henceforth. That was strategic. And somebody said, so his name is Eloswak. He said, so Eloswak is putting on a hoodie that says be obedient and useful. At the back, at least, those people shouting Bibi Nanja will make people lose focus can now see that even inside the Big Brother house, strategic campaign is still going on. No? So people are shouting, I'm telling you, dear Leswag and Peter B, you, you have got it. You know? Okay. And that person said, okay, this is him. Endless work. Obedient favorite. Is he winning it right? Now who goes support to be who goes support? But I see if uh, that's the positive part of it. The negative part is really bad. Where other aspirants feeling uh, not comfortable with the fact that Obi Dati movement is entering Bibi Nigeria that have a lot of followership. Now that is not good for them, being that uh, a campaign is about to start in earnest. And in Bibi Nigeria, someone, an obedient supporter is already there, which is like one ahead. <laughs> so they decided to do this to Ellis Well, the organizers of the Big Brother Nigeria, that's Bibi Nigeria reality show, have Caution Eloswa for wearing an obedient termed hoodie. Uh, Eloswa, whose real name is Eloka Uwamu, Uwamu, stared on ending port of controversies uh, as a Thursday after a photo showing the backside of his hoodie with the obedient, be obedient and useful inscription surface on social media. Most users argue that the reality star was endorsing Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party ahead of the 2023 elections. The inscription was said to, to have been coined from the obedient and useful slogan, which follow, uh, followers of Obi and useful Dati, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, his running mate, have been using to drive his campaign on social media, while a segment of users called fellow swag disqualification. From the Bibi Ninja show for bringing politics into the house, others vo vowed to vote massively for him. Speaking on the matter, an insider within the reality show's production team informed us that there is a rule that prohibits housemates from engaging in politics and religious discussion and expressions. The source also disclosed that the housemate in question has been cautioned. 
politicking is prohibited, we encourage the housemates to avoid political or religious discussions and expressions, and the housemate in question has been cautioned, the insider said. Ellis Wag is among the 24 housemates competing for the grand prize of 100 million naira, the highest ever since the inception of BB Niger. The 50 million naira is the cash prize, while the other 50 million naira is an estimation of the prizes from the sponsors. Now, this is what Nigerians are saying about this matter. While the opposition party are saying, disqualify him, take him out of the house. The obedient supporters are saying, we root for him, he wins the, he wins the show. For being obedient and useful, we move. Now, the question now is, now they have cautioned them, say, guy, whatever you are doing, bring whatever you are bringing to the table, but please stay away from religious matter and politics. This is strictly for entertainment. Allow, uh, uh, we don't want to stir up uh, unnecessary talk. That's the third, even within the house, whether he likes it or not. Even as, in as much as he has, at some point, told Nigerians to be obedient and useful, that's a big language, you know. I, honestly, <laughs> I'm, so to speak, I'm kind of excited. Just between me and you now, I'm not shouting it. Okay, but let's go on and find out what Nigerians are saying about this. This one here is saying, while a segment of users called for Ellis Wang's disqualification from BB Niger's show for bringing politics into the house, others vowed to vote, vote massively for him. Whatever it takes to make all of obedient group of Nigerians not to give up hope for a better Nigeria is a welcome development. Ellis Wang deserves all their colors any day, any time. Mm, and that person here is saying, he should be disqualified. You don't play politics everywhere, please. Stop it. Oh my God, Nigeria said. Eh? And that person said, okay, well, someone cannot be obedient in peace again. Uh -uh. Meanwhile, what is going on? And the person said, read the hoodie again. It was a smart move. Everything was tactical. I see no bad thing. He just, he, I, I see no bad thing here. Just a smart young man. <laughs> that person said, gradually, the Nigerian government is denying her citizens the freedom of expression. And that person here says, obedient is better than sacrifice. The sentence is, an, is as old as the word. But it is literally scaring the hell out of those individuals contributory to these ugly situations we find ourselves in this, in this country. Well, that's true though. Obedient is better than sacrifice in the scriptures. So why is everybody getting it? Each time you say, be obedient, they get angry. And is there anything really wrong with them? Okay, but let, let, let's leave sentiment now. Let's forget what people are saying. He's saying be, be obedient and useful. Why are they getting angry over it? Is it bad to be, okay, you want to be disobedient? You want to be, you want to be useless? The guy just giving Nigerians and those who are supporting him say, look, be obedient. It's a good, it's a good admonition. He did not say you should be disobedient. He said be obedient and be useful. Be useful with your life. And everybody is getting scared. He did not say uh, useful as in why you he say useful, no more useful, and everybody's just getting vexed. Well, uh, kudos to him, that's a smart move. But uh, uh, those out there know that it's a smart te technical move, tactical move. But the message was well received, and every the oppositions are not getting finding it funny at all because it increases the mass movement already on ground. That's where we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. So, take to have it.